Hello, my desktop publishing students. I have opened up the a document. I went to my classes drive and ca called Chart Secondary Axis. So I'm going to do another combo chart with you because we only did one. So I want to do a second one with you. So make sure you've got Chart Secondary Axis open. Save it in your folder and I will do the same thing. So I'm going to go File, Save As. I'm going to go to my U drive and I'm going to click in the file name box, press home and put in my name, use the current date for me, you'll use the current date for you and save it. Okay, this time I want you to click in cell A1, hold down your shift key and click in cell E3. All right, as I told you, there's many ways to do charts, so I'm going to do it a different way again. I'm going to go to insert and I want to go to recommended charts, okay, and you did that before, and now you see the charts that were recommended for the type of data that you had. But I don't want to do that, so we're going to go and click on all charts, and then I'm going to go down to combo, because I told you that's what we're going to do, and I want to choose the one that says clustered column and line, and that's what came up for you right now. It says clustered column and line, that's perfect. Now, that's fine. And now it says that special events is a clustered column, okay? And the total revenue is a line chart. Now, I want you to look here, and um, I want you to choose this total revenue one. I want you to choose line with marker. So not just a plain line. I want line with markers. So make sure you choose line with markers, okay? And I want this to be the, um, what I want to do is the one for special events, I want to be on the secondary axis. So I want the total revenue on the primary axis and the special events revenue on the secondary axis. So check that, make sure that's what you've got. So special events, clustered column, secondary axis, and you can see that there. Total revenue is aligned with markers. You can see the markers and it's on the primary axis. So once you've got that, that's good. Say OK. And once again, you see your chart. So I'm going to size it up a bit. I've got lots of room to put it over here. So that works. All right. So now what we want to do is we want to do some more formatting. Now point to the line, okay, and make sure you point to the line, not the grid lines or anything like that. And I want you to right click and make sure it says format data series because that's what we want to do, format data series. Okay, so now I want you to go to fill because we're going to have line and now the line color is burgundy. I don't care what color you choose. Uh, you can leave it at burgundy, that's fine with me, or choose a color of your choice is okay. But I want you to set the line width to four points. Like I want it to be fairly wide so that you can definitely see it. Okay, I went to 4.25. Okay, four points. All right, that's good. And now what I want to do, take a look here. We're on the line section right now, but there's also markers. So I want you to click on markers. And now take a look. The white arrow is pointing to the right. You want to drop it down so that now you're working on marker options. So you see the difference. We're not in line anymore. We're on marker and marker options. Now, they always tell you that the marker should be the same color as the line. But for this scenario, I want we're going to use different colors so that you see what I'm talking about and it makes it clearer, okay? So we're going to use the built-in ones. And I think that we'll use um, a diamond, but you could use any one of these characters that you want. It doesn't matter. In fact, you can even use a picture. All right, so I'm going to use the diamond, okay, and I'm going to make it size 10, okay, because I want it to be large, all right? Now, take a look. I'm going to change the color from burgundy. I stayed with a burgundy line, but I want to choose a color for the um, border, or, yeah, for the border. So I'm going to put yellow on here because I think it'll show up well. All right. And I think you can see the yellow there. Right there, you can see the yellow. We can make the line a little bit thicker, but not too thick or you won't be able to see the inside. Okay. All right. Now I want to go to fill and I want to fill it. Let's say I'll fill it with green. Solid fill. 
and I'll try green. Okay, so can you see the diamond is filled with green? I put a thick border on it just so you could see it. All right, so I'm going to click off, and there you see the border going around the green fill. And as I say, usually they tell you that the marker should be the same color as the line, but I wanted you to see what you were doing there. All right, so just remember here that line, if I go to line, that's for the line. If I go to marker, here are the marker options. You have to open it up, and this is where you find your marker fill, your marker border. This is the options. All right, now this time click on the secondary axis, okay? Click on the secondary axis. So make sure you can see this, um, th see those numbers and they've got the four blue handles and the numbers are selected, okay? And note here it says format axis, right? Okay, so now on the axis options button, hold on here, this button here, the three green bars, go to the axis options, all right, and right now we see that our units are going up by 50, okay, and the maximum reads 350, okay, and the major unit is 50. All right, so that's fine, but if you wanted to change that, let's say if I said the major unit was 100, okay, watch, I'm going to put in 100, and now do you see it goes by 0, 100, 200, 300, 400. So whatever you say that you want to go up by, this is where you change it. If you put in 200, then it would go up by 200, all right? But we really want to go by 50, so put in 50, and you're back to where you were, but you saw that you could change that. All right, now the number options at the bottom, and you've seen this before, so we want to go here, choose accounting, and we want zero decimal places, and we want the dollar sign, and that's fine. And now you see the dollar sign here because it was special events revenue, all right? We can also, as you know, we could go and change the font color. So I could go here and I could put on maybe blue, Okay, so I've got them in blue, maybe bold, and maybe size 11 instead of 9, just so that they're more readable to you. Okay, and now the same thing, we will go here to the primary axis. Okay, so again, we want to go to the axis options, and you now the maximum here is 1250, and we're going up by 50s if we want, and... Um, and you see here 1,000, 1,050, 1,100, 1,150. But as we did on the other one, we could change it and put in 100 if we wanted to, okay? But I'll go back and put it back to 50. That's easy for us to read, okay? All right, but we need the dollar sign. So we want to go to number, and you want accounting and zero decimal places. And... Um, a dollar sign so that's what we want there and again now you might change the color that would be up to you but I'm gonna blue is handy here for me so I'm and I put on bold the last time so I've got them matching there and now my chart title oh hold on here I go in and um, I want to say um, hold on here maybe I want to type in special events revenue, so special events revenue. And the same thing, I'll go shift home. That's the easiest, easiest way to do it. Go and choose, and I'm going to go to burgundy. I'm going to make it bold and italics, and I'm going to size it up to about size 20. And there's my heading there. All right. Okay, click on your spreadsheet, save your work. And now let's just do your category axis to refresh your member memory remember you see the four blue handles here this is the category axis it's size 9 let's go to size 11 to match the rest of our one and let's use our blue like we did before and if we want to put the bold on you could put the bold on all right that piece is good okay so now the next thing that we're going to put on is we're going to um, add a legend here okay so we've got a chart title it looks a little bit off here I think we could move it well hold on here move it over just a bit here all right so now let's put a legend on so we're going to go to design 
we're going to go add chart elements and we have got a legend on but let's move it to the right okay and just see which we like the best so let's try right there it is on the right oh actually you know what i like the other one better so go back to add chart elements and go to legend and leave it on the bottom where it was that's fine okay all right so now this time what we want to do is um, we want to add an axis title to the primary um, to the primary axis so click on your primary axis and we want to go here and we want to go to axis titles and note that it says titles okay and we want primary vertical and you see how the title comes in now select the text and I want you to type in total revenue total revenue and then space and then open your parentheses and type in thousands Okay, and close your parentheses. Now, once again, we can go shift home here and you can color these. So if I went to home, I might go back and choose my burgundy color here. Maybe I'll make it size 11 because that's kind of the size that we went in and I might make it bold. All right, and I'm going to click off so you can see it. And there you see total revenue thousands all right i'm going to make my chart a little bit bigger here okay so now we want to have access titles on the secondary axis so click on the secondary axis and we're going to go to design add chart element and we want axis titles and we want it on the primary pardon me the secondary vertical so go to secondary vertical now select your text and I want you to type in special events revenue. So special events revenue. And then put in your thousands, T-H-O-U-S-A-N-D-S. Close your parentheses. And once again, I'm going to go shift home. And I'm going to stick to my burgundy. So I'm going to go to home, put on my burgundy. I'm going to make it size 11. And I'm going to make it bold, just like I made the other one. All right. And now I'm going to click off and you should be able to see your axis titles there. So very nice then. You have now put axis titles on here. You've got axis titles here. We left the legend on the bottom. You did a line with markers. You edited the markers and changed the colors there. And you've got your heading on your document. And mine's still a little bit off center there. And that's it. Now, once again, let's just try to see if we're going to get a print preview here. So save your work, and then I want to go to File, Print. Ah, see, now we can. And you can see your chart and your spreadsheet all on one sheet. So it's perfect. Okay, that's good. All right, so save it there. We stop, and um, that's the end of this one. And then I'll make another one yet.